everybody knows the overwhelm of walking into Sephora and trying to pick out a foundation that's going to work for your skin, right? You go in, you try to match all of the shades of skin that are represented in your face by one blanket color, which usually is going to whitewash you if you have a neck as white as me. Then you're going to try to contour your face by putting a powder over top of that liquid. It's going to get stuck. It's going to be muddy. You're going to add in things like blush, bronzer, concealer, um, maybe something for highlighting the cheekbones or strobing. Uh, there's so many different things. There's eyeshadows. You invest in this beautiful palette. You end up hitting pan on a couple colors and then wasting the rest of the product. It's so sad. Then, of course, there's lipstick. There's eyeliner. There's brow filler. There's so many different things, right? So we're going to just toss this bag, and I'm going to show you what I use instead. So this is one custom palette made exactly for you. You can get whatever size palette you want. It doesn't have to be as huge as mine. We have lots of options for compact sizes. But I would recommend that you start with the 3D foundation at least. So right now I'm starting with the first color, which is my brightener. So before, I would use just one color like this to blanket my whole face, which would completely lose all the dimension and depth in my skin. Now I'm using one color that's very light and pale and bright to go just mostly in the center of my face. When I'm covering anything with this coloration, like I am here, I use the darker of the two highlights because the extra pigment will hide those colors a lot better with minimal product rather than just tinting them lighter. So now I'm going back in with that brightening highlight and putting it under, me, under my eyes because we always want to draw attention to the eyes. And when we put the brightener on the top half mostly of the face and kind of in the center, it's sort of going to give you almost like a little facelift. Um, really just drawing everything upwards. That second color, the mid-tone highlight, is going to go more around the perimeter of the face and kind of in the beard area, like if you were a man where you would grow a beard. Um, because my neck is so light, I also add a little bit of that lighter color around the jawline just to make sure there's no dreaded line between the neck and the face. Now the contour, that's kind of a scary idea, right? But this is a cream, so no more muddy powder over top of liquid and trying to get that blend just perfect. Our brushes are going to make this magical when it all blends together. So it looks super scary right now, but everything's the same creamy texture. So it's going to blend beautifully. Um, you want to put contour anywhere where you want shadow. So those areas are going to recede. The brightest areas are going to come forward and the darkest areas are going to recede. So keep that in mind when you're placing your contour. When you're doing your nose, the closer together those lines are, the thinner your nose is going to appear. So keep that in mind as well. You can use that contour, the same one that I just used, on your eyebrows as well. So that's great for multitasking. And this is the line brush that I'm using here, which is one of my favorite brushes. It's awesome for eyebrows and also for um, eyeliner. So now I'm going to blend all this together. All the brushes are double-ended, which is awesome. I like to use the one end for the lighter colors and do that first, and then flip it and go over all the darker areas after that. And we wanna kind of work upwards, not drag downwards, especially when it comes to those contoured areas. Now, I'm using my phone as a mirror here, and uh, you'll see that I actually didn't notice that I hadn't blended that contour into the bottom of my nose, which is probably gonna bug some of you, but I found it at the end and I fixed it. I'm putting Hollywood on my cheeks here, which is a beautiful color for pretty much any skin tone, peachy pink and kind of iridescent. I'm going in with that same contour again, and I'm just lining underneath and around my lips to give the illusion of a bit of shadow. I love this rather than using a pencil lip liner this looks way more natural and now i'm using black cherry on my lips um, which is one of my absolute favorite lip and cheek colors for both lips and cheeks it looks super scary in the pan as you can see it's almost like a dark purple but because it's sheer it's actually really really pretty and not scary i have a whole <laughs> level of my palette devoted to illuminators. It's one of my favorite things. It's like the sprinkles on your cupcake. Um, this is just designed to catch the light and give a little bit of glow. 
and luminescence to the skin. It's beautiful for dry skin, for mature skin. The creams are a lot more subtle. That's what I'm using here. This is Pearl. Again, it's sheer, so it's not scary. Or you can use a powder, which is gonna give you a lot more of a glow, and it's gonna be a little bit more of a pop on the skin because it's designed to sit on top of the skin. So if you wanna go a little more glam, you would go for a powder. Who doesn't want a little glam in their lives right now? So I like both and I use both. Not always together like this, but I'm just showing you uh, kind of the difference between the two. All right, now for eyeshadow, we have endless, <laughs> endless options for eyeshadows and two really good options for brushes. I'm showing you the eyeshadow brush here. It has like a pencil end on one side and a nice fluffy end on the other side for blending. I'm just kind of slapping it on here, but the brush makes it really easy to blend. This is basic on my eyes, which looks a lot um, lighter on some people, but because I'm super fair, it looks darker on me. <laughs> I cannot see what I'm doing in my phone here as a mirror, so I'm just hoping it works <laughs> as I'm doing this. So that's basic. And then cocoa is what I'm kind of slapping along the lash line with that pencil end. Blend, blend, blend. When it comes to eyes, you're really just contouring as well. So deepening out the outsides and then keeping it a little lighter in the center. So I'm just putting a little bit of that pretty unicorn in the middle there, which is a light shimmer. All right. So now I'm going into Black Friday, which is a cream eyeliner, which is so nice, so much better than a liquid. Who knows the struggle of getting your eyes done and then you use a liquid liner and it just kind of squiggles at the last minute and messes everything up. This is a cream, so it's really hard to mess up, especially with that line brush. Now I'm using my Perfector sponge. Look how big it is when you dampen it. It doesn't even fit in the little tin anymore. So I'm using my Stay Spray. With cream makeup, you always want to set it. And that way it stays in place all day. Until you set it, it will be able to move around. So you'll be able to just keep blending it exactly the way you want it. Very nice. Just kind of stipple it in there. I have a blemish on my cheek, which you can still kind of see. So in the end, I'm going to go with my multitasker brush and I'm just going to tap a little bit of extra product with some powder over top of it. And that will be that. Again, the perils of using your phone as your mirror. There was a chunk of glitter there on my cheek that I could not see. And so I fixed that later too. Here's some mascara. Just a hint, wash your brushes and this won't happen to you. Now I'm showing you the different brushes that you could use. There are so many different brushes with different functions. So if you're wondering about that, just ask me and I will help you to choose the best one for you. You can do your entire face with the 3D brush. It's kind of a jack of all trades brush. It's really good for just when you're uh, just getting started. That's the buff brush. If you want more of an airbrushed finish, that's the one for you. Or there's the detail brush here, which is really good for precise contouring of the nose and the cheeks. The blush and bronzer brush is a nice um, combo with that for blending. So here's me after actually looking in the mirror and noticing what I missed. Thankfully, cream makeup is super easy to blend and fix. So voila, there you go.